Hey guys, today we're back with another Versus video. And today we have the Smith & Wesson 642 five shot revolver versus the Colt Cobra six shot 38 special revolver. Stay tuned for this one. All right, guys, you're back. Um, first off, we'll uh, start out by comparing the boxes. The Smith & Wesson comes with a just a cardboard uh, blue box with Smith & Wesson on it. Um, comes uh, wrapped with, uh, I guess, oil paper to get the gun out. And once again, all guns are safely checked before filming, so just a reminder, set it over to the side. Comes a lock. Uh, comes with internal lock, key, and everything like that. So, nothing really out of the ordinary. We'll set this over to the side. Uh, the Coke Cobra comes with a blue hard uh, hard plastic box. We'll open it up. Comes with pretty much everything the exact same. Layout's a little better. Looks like it's protected a lot better. Comes also with plastic wrapping. So, lock and everything like that. This gun does not have an internal lock, and it's also safe. We'll set it over to the side. All right, getting on to the main thing, the firearms. Um, Weight-wise, the 38 Special is, the Smith & Wesson 38 Special is a lot uh, lighter than the Coke Cobra. I'll have the actual weights of both in the description below here, but I can just tell by just feeling that the 38 Special Smith & Wesson is a lot lighter than the Colt 38 Special. Um, Smith & Wesson has an aluminum body with a stainless steel barrel, stainless steel uh, cylinder, and a stainless steel cylinder uh, arm bar, arm, whatever you call it. Uh, while the Colt Cobra is full 100% stainless steel, everything on it. Uh, so whenever it comes to carry-wise, you want the lighter pistol, so the Smith & Wesson 642 would win in this one. Uh, capacity. The Colt Cobra will win every time because of the six shot capacity instead of the five shot. But where you've got the six shot capacity, it's going to be wider in the frame, so it's going to be hard to conceal. Um, so, capacity, Colt Cobra's winning that one. Um, ease of use uh, with the Smith and Wesson. With a Smith and, Smith and Wesson, you have a push release cylinder. You push forward and throw it out. Where on the Coke Cobra, you have to change your grip, pull back, and then throw it out. So for this one, I give the winner to the Smith and Wesson so, because you can throw it out without having to change your grip. Okay. Um, trigger pull. Well, this is only a double. This is a double action only pistol. Where this one is a double action and single action. So for double action pull, which one's got a better pull? Let's switch hands. Hmm. Um, the better double action is with a Colt Cobra 100%. Uh, the Smith & Wesson 642 has got a very long double action pull. Um, and I also heard that they make them actual lot uh, heavier for the 642 where it doesn't have a hammer to where the only thing you have to do is pull it out of your uh, Put out your pocket and pull the trigger where you don't want an accidental discharge. So they want it a little bit heavier. So uh, this the Colt Cobra has got a lot better trigger and a lot different feeling trigger. Actually, I, I like it a lot better. So uh, trigger plus you also have this in double action. I like the Colt Cobra better. Uh, sight picture on the Colt Cobra you have a uh, you have a channel sight with a uh, high vis front sight while on the Smith & Wesson you also have a channel sight with the front of it non-painted uh, metal sight so uh, they're pretty much both the same thing but with the Colt Cobra you can get a lot better uh, sight picture with it than you could the other one where it's uh, not painted versus the high vis front sight uh, so on, the winner on this one is the Colt Cobra uh, 
let's see here, something else, grip. Uh, the grip on the Smith & Wesson, you get two finger grip and this one underneath pull, or this one underneath tuck in. Uh, the way that it feels in my hand, I like it pretty well, uh, but you can get a full grip on the Colt Cobra, so I like it a lot better. And uh, sorry for this hanging off of it and this also, this is a brand new gun, so I just uh, want to keep it in uh, brand as new as I can get it until I figure out what I'm wanting to do with it. But once again, Colt Cobra. Smith and Wesson 642. Let's see here. Uh, another one I'll do is pointability. Coming out of holster, pointing it right on top with that one. Coming out of holster, pointing it. And I'm pointing a little high to begin with. My, from just straight up, my side is about a half of an inch above where it ought to be. So I'm gonna be shooting a little high on that one, so it's good uh, to keep that uh, in mind. Um, price, the 642 is around $400 new, while the Colt Cobra is around $700 new. Um, so taking that into consideration, uh, we'll have the final, uh, we'll have the final thing right now. Which gun is, would I rather want? And the one I would pick over over either one of them is the Colt Cobra. But which one's better for the price? That's the better question. Um, if you're on a uh, budget and you're looking for the best uh, concealed carry piece or you want a truck gun maybe, I'll go with the 642 over the Cobra because the Cobra is a lot better refined pistol than the 642. A lot more man hours just went into this gun, I feel like anyway, and a lot more thought has, which would, it's worth the $700 and this one right here is worth the $400, but is, this, is this gun $300 worth more than the 642? Uh, in my opinion, it is if you have the money to spend. If you have the money to spend $300 more on, a, uh, on the Coke Cobra than you do the Smith & Wesson, uh, I would spend the $300 more and get this. But if you don't and you're looking like, is it worth saving up uh, another year to get this in or am I, should I just get this in right here? I would say uh, just get this one. But if you have the money to spend, I would 100% get the Cobra. I really do like the Cobra a lot better than this gun because just overall, you feel like you've got a lot better pistol in your hand, but both of them are very good guns. Um, that being said, if you, if you really want to look statistically speaking at both guns, uh, concealed carry classes teach that uh, that you're going to have that the probability of having a gunfire or a you know a shootout is going to be less than seven yards, and the, also being shown that uh, there's going to be less than three shots shot at a uh, shootout. I know I'm repeating myself somewhat, but uh, that being said, uh, both of these guns for what they are are very good because for it's seven yards, point, shoot, and then you have a uh, six shot uh, capacity versus five shot. Both of them have enough, statistically speaking, to get the job done. Uh, and whenever it also comes to shootability, I don't know if I covered that or not yet. Uh, me, whenever I shoot in the 642, I hit uh, two out of three, or uh, two out of five shots, or three out of five shots at 15 yards, with the Colt Cobra, I actually hit five out of six shots, but I was also doing single action. But to me, overall, I feel like I'm a lot better shot with the Colt Cobra than I am the uh, the 642. So uh, that'll be it on this uh, video. Which one would you all pick, the 642 or the Colt Cobra? Uh, leave a question, comments, and space below, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Do any of you all actually carry either one of these guns right now? Um, my EDC right now is a uh, SIG P938, but uh, I've been considering switching to one of these guns just because uh, I like I like the way both of them feel very well. But uh, let me know if you all have any questions and comments from this baseball, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for viewing, and I'll see you all in the next video.